Salt Lake City, Utah, near the Great Salt Lake. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Utes of Utah. And here come the Utes. Welcome to the start of the college football weekend. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit with you. And they are definitely ready to play some football down there. The Aggies are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Utah looks to unveil their high-powered offense. And the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what. This defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. And another thing. Texas A&M does not have a pass rush or the secondary to keep up with this offense. Kirk, they're going to get picked apart like a turkey on Thanksgiving. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 25 fields it at the one. Kickoff return 21 yards. Number 25 on the return. They'll go to work at the 22 yard line. First and 10. Number 11, back in the gun, throws it to the outside, and down he goes. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and 10, ball on their own 40. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Five wide. And he's taken down. Number 11 on the carry. No gain on the play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 40-yard line. Utah in a five-wide set. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. Great concentration. Doesn't get enough for the first down. Yeah, nice job of making a few yards, but they got to be disappointed they didn't make the first down. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number seven calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 35-yard line. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. They'll set up shot at the 35. At the 35-yard line, first and 10. Number 25 is the single setback. He spins around. They'll bring him down. The running back gives him six on the ground. Gain of six on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Texas A&M sets up in the eye. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll drop him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Third and eight. Ball on the 37. Number one with three wide receivers. He's going long. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys.
Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He gets it away. Number 82 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 27. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver. And down he goes. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Texas A&M brings in their nickel package. They go with a toss. And they got him for a loss. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. Man, that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Looks, rolls to the right. He's in trouble. He's going left. And it falls incomplete. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Four, the intended receiver on the play. Third Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 32. Texas A&M lines up in a dime defense here. Across the middle, tackle. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. You're right, Kirk. Those guys are swarming to where they think the ball is, then the ball is flying over their heads. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number seven, deep to return. He gets it off. Number seven takes it at the 21, bounces off the would-be tackler. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. Texas A&M comes to the line with three wide, and he's taken down. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. One-yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Two tight ends here. Shifty move there. And they make the stop. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. Utah brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. Pressure coming. Throws. Complete. He hits his man, but they'll be well short of the first. That young man has to run the pattern to get beyond those sticks the next time. Fourth and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Texas A&M lining up the punt. Number 82. Number 30 gets it off. Number 82 takes it at the 32. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Big dog, big dog. Nice play fake. He's looking, throws it out there, and it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. Nothing going on that one. Makes the reception. No gain on the play. And so ten. it's second and ten. Ball on the, Ball on the 32. Line. Ace backfield. He drops back. Looking. Throws. Someone got a hand on it. And he threw that one up for grabs. This is one of the things that drives a coach crazy. You don't want to do anything stupid. 
make mental mistakes that may cost you the ball game. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 32. Texas A&M lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. It's intercepted. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Aggies. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that could happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he hits the PAT. Over 10 minutes remaining in the first quarter, and our score, Texas A&M, 7, Utah, nothing. Number 13, ready to kick. Kicks it off. Number 25 fields it at the 7. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. First and 10. The Utes line up with three wide. Back to pass. Down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Second and, Second and ten. ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Aggies line up in a nickelback. Look. He's rolling right. He's under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still. And he got down. caught holding. Yeah, you can't get caught with your hands on the outside of another player if you're going to block him. They have to stay in front. And that time, the player didn't do that. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 13. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back. He steps up, wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 13. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Missed tackle. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. They send out the punting unit. Back to punt. Number seven, back deep to return. He punts it. Number seven fields it at the 34. He's hit and got away. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Excellent field position to start the drive. At the 17 yard line. First and 10. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. Knocked loose from the receiver. The defender timed that hit perfectly. It's second down and ten to go. 
Ball on the 17. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Here's the option. Pitches back. Spin move. Sheds a tackler. Juke move. They'll bring him down. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. About 12 yards out. The Utes bring in the nickel package. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. It's dropped. The quarterback's got to take some heat off these throws. I disagree. When you're out there throwing the football, your job is to get it to the receiver. It's his job to catch it. You can't catch it for him. That's exactly the kind of comment I'd expect from a quarterback. Lines up, hoping to extend the lead and make it a two-score game. He gets it up. And he hooked it left. The kick is no good. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. Number 20, alone in the backfield. They go with a toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Couldn't get anything out of that. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 20. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, throws this one out to the left. Batted ball. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 20. And they have three bunched. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver at the 40. Across midfield. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Utah. And it's the All-American who's on the receiving end of that nice touchdown pass. Great job by the quarterback to find the mismatch out there. And I don't care who you put on this kid. Anytime this wideout steps on the field, it's always going to be a mismatch. And he tacks on the extra point. Better than eight minutes remain in the first quarter. And the score, Utah, seven. Texas A&M, seven. Utah to kick, number five, and number seven, back deep to return. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number seven takes it at the eight. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. Number one is back in the gun. The Gibbs to the fullback, sheds that one, tackle. They'll get two on that one. The ball carrier, gain of two on the play. Second, Second and eight coming up here. Ball, ball on their own 29. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. The ball is tipped. 
tipped away. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Third and eight. Ball on the 29. Number one with three wide receivers. They snap it to the back. Broke away from one. And down he goes. Three plays and out, guys. It sounds simple. You've got three plays to get 10 yards. But trust me, sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Punts the ball away. Number 82 takes it to 28. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. Straight ahead with the fullback. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. That's a three-yard pickup. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own 37. On the 37 yard line. The Utes come out in a shotgun, drops back to pass, short toss. The ball is tipped. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. They're down and seven. Ball on the 37 yard line. Texas A&M comes out defensively with six defensive backs. The counter. And they hit him in the backfield. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number seven awaiting the return. Number 19 punted and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number seven fields it at the 35. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 35. The Aggies line up with three wide. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. In and out of his hand. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Two tight ends here. Handoff up the middle. And he's tackled. That'll be a pickup of a yard. With the carry, one yard gain on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 36. The Aggies set up in the gun. Steps up, looking. He's going right. It falls incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 82. Number 30 gets it off. Number 82 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 27. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. He's on the run. And they make the stop. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Hot. 
and he's taken down. Number 11 with the carry. Gain of 10 on the play. It's second and inches. Ball on the 47. The Utes come out in the ace formation. Toss. And he's stopped behind the line. Good play there by the defense. This is just a toss to the tailback. But the defense gets a good read on his play and was able to stop him for a loss. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 49. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looks over the middle. Complete tackle. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. First and ten. Ball on the 44. The Utes have five receivers on this play. He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. There's a missed tackle. Throws this one out to the right. It's tipped. That one could have been an interception. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. Here they come. Wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Three wideouts to the right side. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. He rolls out to the right. Throws it to the outside. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and 10. Nice play. First and 10. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Utes come out in a shotgun. And he's tackled. Number 11 on the carry. No gain on the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Utes line up with three wide. They go with the run. And down he goes. Four yards gain. Gain of four on the play. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Utah comes out with five receivers. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Fourth and six. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. The kick is no good. They'll go to work at the 28. Over at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Texas A&M lines up in a shotgun set. They snap it to the back. Brought down. Six yards on the carry. The carry. Gain of six on the play. Second it's second down and four to go. Ball on the 34. From the gun, drops back to pass. Looks, rolls right. It's tipped. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on their own 34. 
They line up in the jumbo set. On the ground, up the middle. He jukes, and he's tackled. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before we start to blame this offensive line, really give the defense some credit. They did a good job here. Fourth and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Didn't get all of that one. Number 82 signals for a fair catch. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. Number 11 with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Maybe a yard on that draw play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Texas A&M brings in the nickel here. Here's a counter play. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 33. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Under pressure. Wants the middle. Someone got a hand on it. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Fourth and 12. Ball on the 33-yard line. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He punts it. Back deep to return. Number seven takes it to the 32. Gets past the tackler. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 43-yard line. Number one is back in the gun. They go with the option. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Loss of three. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 40. The Aggies set up in the gun. He lets it go, and he's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. Not a lot on that one. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 41. The Utes line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Across the middle. Got it. And he's tackled. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. First and 10. Ball on the 46. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Across the middle. It's deflected. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Second it's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth line. play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. They run a counter. It's on the ground. And they hit him in the backfield. The offense lucky to retain possession after that fumble. And the old coach can't be happy with the way the running back is haphazardly carrying the football right now. So another third down upcoming for the offense. From the gun. Back to pass. Throws. 
And that one's fallen incomplete. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get back to basics. Hey, Coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk. We almost caught that one. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He punts this one high in the air. Number 25 falls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 19. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. The Utes set up in the gun. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. A big-time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. Number 11 has four receivers lined up here. They'll bring him down, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. No gain on the play. Third, Third and down 12. and 12. Ball on the, Ball on the 17. Texas A&M comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. Caught out of bounds and incomplete. Great effort here by the wideout, but you know what? The quarterback was off just enough to cause that incompletion. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts it. Number seven signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 49-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Utes bring in the nickel package. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. Throws. The ball is tipped, and that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Aggies line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Two-yard pickup. On the run. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 47. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He goes downtown. And it's incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number 25 calls for the fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Number 11 with three wide receivers. Inside give. He's got an opening. Spinning. And he's taken down. About eight yards there. Right. It's second down and two to go. Ball, Ball on their own 29. The Utes line up with four wideouts. Here's the give. And they make the stop. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Third, and one. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 30-yard line. 
The Utes line up in a goal line formation. And down he goes. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Yep, Brad. First and ten. Do it again. Pound the ball ahead. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33. The Utes come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second and three. Ball on their own 40. Second and three. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Utes come out in the shotgun. He tosses it short. Couldn't haul it in. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Utah will line up in a jumbo set here. He'll get it again, and he's tackled. Good pickup on third down there, and that's going to keep the drive alive. First and ten, and do it again, my friend. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket, looking. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Second and long, and this is the eighth play of the drive. From the gun. He drops back. He steps up. Deep pass down the right side. Comes up with a jump ball. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Aggies line up in a nickel back. He's into the open field. Brought down. First and ten. Ball on the 22. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 19 yard line. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 19-yard line. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the right. They'll go to work at the 20. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Steps up, looks. He's looking down the middle. Finds his receiver. They'll bring him down. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. Right. 
First and ten. Ball on their own 40. The Aggies line up with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 42. Utah brings in the nickel here. Here's the give. He jukes him. And down he goes. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Aggies line up in an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. It's deflected. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Ace backfield. Setting up the play action. No one open, squeak on a run. And he is drilled. Well, he didn't get much out of that scramble. Yo, this kid needs to learn when to scramble. He's going to end up in the hospital if he keeps getting hit like that. Third down and seven. This is the sixth play of this drive. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It's tipped. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. They send out the punting unit. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 11 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 14. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. They'll, They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. First and 10. The Aggies bring in the nickel package. On the ground with the tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. Well, are these guys fast or what? Good job of penetrating and getting to the ball carrier here. Second and 11. Ball on the 13-yard line. Trips right. And he's taken down, so the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Utah, in a five-wide set, steps up in the pocket. Across the middle, and down he goes. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10, ball on the 25. Texas A&M brings in their nickel package. Again, he'll get the ball. Brought down. Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play second of the current drive. Trips right. On the 25 -yard line. He'll get the call again. And they make the stop. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Nickel defense. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. Throws. 
And they couldn't hook up on that one. A little too much juice on that one. Yeah, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Fourth and three. Ball on the 32-yard line. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Back deep to return. He punts it. Number seven, fields it at the 41. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Pressure coming. They'll drop him for a loss. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 46. The Utes line up in a nickelback with the throw. Picked off. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. You know, sometimes you hear people say that defensive backs can't catch the ball very good. That's why they play defensive back instead of receiver. Well, this guy just proved that theory wrong. He can definitely catch the football. Yeah, there are some exceptions. I will definitely admit that. Utah lines up in a bunch formation. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Complete tackle. They pick up a good six yards there. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. Ball on the 41. Utah sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. Incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, the and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing Third game. Third down and four coming up Ball on this on one. The Ball on the 41-yard line. line. Utah will line up in a jumbo set here. He's hit and got away, and he's tackled, and they get a nice gain on third down. Remember, we talked to the coach. And he mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense, and he felt that he may have some success. Well, they've had some success on that play. First and ten. Ball on the 32. The Aggies line up with six defensive backs. They hand it off. He's got an opening. Brought down at the 26-yard line. That's a nice six-yard gain. Gain of six on the play. It's second down and four to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 11 with three wide receivers. He drops back. Throws short. And it's picked off. And that was their second interception of the game. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. First and ten. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Little shake and bake move, and he's taken down. Seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 29. Number 25, the lone back. He gets another carry. Can't wrap him up. They'll bring him down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. The Aggies come out showing three wide. Drop back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He goes up and gets it. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. We've got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. 
Five yard penalty. First down. He wasn't careful enough and got a hand on the guy's face mask. That'll cause a five yard penalty for grabbing his face mask. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball, ball on the 33. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Handoff up the middle. And down he goes. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second down and seven to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Utah lines up in a dime defense here. Throws this one out to the left. Someone got a hand on it. The touch pass is tipped away. Incomplete. As a quarterback, you've got to know when to throw the ball with a touch and when to fire it in there. That wasn't a touch situation. That looked more like a slow pitch softball kind of situation. We could have knocked that one out of the park. Third and seven coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Utes line up in a nickel bat. Back to pass. He's on the run. He spins, and they make the stop. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving up a big play to the quarterback. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. One man back for you. Back to pass. Looking. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They managed to find the end zone on the ground. Nice job by the offense, wasn't it, Kirk? Well, Coach, just like you always say, keep it simple when you're down inside the five-yard line. Good job to finish off the drive. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. It sails out of bounds, and that'll be a penalty. Here's the call from the referee. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 His errant line. kick has given the offense a great starting point to begin their drive. Absolutely. The defense will have to come out with major intensity to make up for that blunder. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Going deep. Lays it out there. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. 
The Utes come out in a bunch formation. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. He's got it. Brought down. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Utah lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Utah takes a timeout. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 46. Utah in a five wide set. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Once and all, going deep. The ball is tipped, and that one's fallen incomplete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Third down and a couple miles here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Looking, throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The wideout catches it out of bounds. Yeah, the ruling here is that you got to have possession of the football and at least one foot in bounds. You can see that he didn't get a foot in, and that's a good call. A minute left in the half. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 19 boots it way up there. Number seven calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 27. Well, the offense is back on the field again, and their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. They'll go to work at the 27-yard line. The Utes bring in the nickel package. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Number 25 alone in the backfield. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. And it falls incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third and five. Ball on the 32. Number one is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He's going left. It's a tip drill. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offsides on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Still and he was pulled off sides on that play, Lee. Yeah, sometimes the defense gets so anxious they cross the line of scrimmage too early. First down and five to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They'll throw on first down. Throw. He just didn't have enough on it. Well, if you don't even get it to him, there's no way he's going to catch it. At least give him a chance. Second down and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. Three wideouts here. He drops back. Wants the middle, got it, and he's taken down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Back to pass, looks. Wants to throw outside with the spin, tackle. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. 
Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone, step up, and make a better throw. The Utes bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. He's going to take off. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense. And as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Texas A&M, 21, Utah, 7. Number 13, ready to kick. Kicks it off. Number 25, fields it at the two. First and 10, ball on their own 20. Utah sets up with four receivers. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Texas A&M 21, Utah 7. Utah will be kicking off to start the second half. We should have a return on this one. Number seven takes it at the eight. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Number 25 lines up as a single back. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. He drops back. He's looking. Throws! It falls incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 23. The Aggies line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. Couldn't get anything out of that. No gain on the play. Third and 10. Ball on their own 23. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. He has some room. He's going to take off. Brought down. What an outstanding third down conversion. Yeah, and he showed pretty good quickness there, picking up a nice game. Good quickness and very good decision making. Not a whole lot going on as far as throwing the ball there. He makes a wonderful decision, bringing it down and making a big play. Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It's deflected. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. Second 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. One man backfield. Handoff up the middle. A little juke. He tries to spin. And down he goes. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I agree with you. He's such a natural runner. Texas A&M comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He drops back. He's in trouble. It's tipped. And again, he can't find his man. He's still looking to complete his first pass in this drive. Second and 10. Ball right around midfield. Number one. Lines up in the shotgun. Throw short. He still hasn't completed a pass this drive, but we may see another one here. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Texas A&M comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Throws. Complete. He spins around, and he's tackled. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. From the gun, back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Finds a man. The 10. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Spins up field, and he's taken down. The quarterback draw gets him maybe a yard. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Again, he'll get the call. Touchdown, Texas A&M. What do you say about that touchdown, coach? He really banged and bullied his way in the end zone. That was a great touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. And better than 12 minutes still left in the third quarter. The score, Texas A&M, 28, Utah, 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Texas a is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Back to return. Number 22 takes it at the four. <laughs> Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. On the return. It's first and ten. Ball on the 22. First and ten. The Aggie bring in the nickel package. Steps up across the middle. Found his man. Makes a move. Brought down. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Utes come out showing three wide. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Tackle. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. Gain of two on the play. Second 
second, second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Yard line. The Utes set up in the gun. He drops back, looking across the middle. Incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. The ball is tipped. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number seven, back to return. Number 19 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number seven signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 36-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Texas A&M comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Little handoff. He's got a lot of green. Spinning. And he's tackled. And a first down for the running back. It's a big first down for this offense. Now maybe it'll take some of the pressure off the quarterback. First and 10. Ball in their own 47. Number 25. Alone in the backfield. Play action. He's going left. He's got it. And down he goes. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Number 25. Alone back. Spin move. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 42. Number 25 is the single setback. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Third down and 12. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Looks. He's going left. And that one's fallen incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Number 30 to punt this one away. Number 30 gets it off. Number 25 calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. You know, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll set up shop at the 20. Number 11 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass, throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20. The Utes set up in the gun. Here's the give. And he's taken down. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. Third and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Utes line up with three receivers bunch. Steps up in the pocket. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's going right. The ball is tipped. 
And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Ball on the 20-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Back to punt. Number seven, back to return. Number 19, punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number seven, takes it at the 47. He spins. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series, had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. He drops back. He's going left. And it's incomplete. They came with a blitz that time and forced the overthrow by the quarterback. Good defense there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. They line up in an eye. Toss. Tackle. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Third and nine. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. Short toss. And it's caught. He tries to spin. Brought down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. He steps up looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Wants the middle. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. They come out with three wide receivers. Here's the option. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And Kirk, that gives them two rushing touchdowns in this game. Well, let's give some credit also to the offensive line. They opened up some holes so he could get into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Number 13 looks ready to kick this one off. He boots it deep downfield. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 21. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. 
Found his man. He's all the way down to the 46. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Handoff up the middle. And they make the stop. Gain of a yard by the fullback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 45. Ace backfield. Little handoff. He's got a lot of green. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back, and I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 20 lines up as a single back. Toss. And they got him for a loss. Well, there's not much he could do to get away from that big defense alignment. Second, Second and, and long coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down and a couple miles here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll work from the shotgun. He steps up, wants to throw outside. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receiver still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. Number 19, back to punt. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number 19 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 15-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 15. First and 10. Number one with three wide receivers. Inside handoff. Brought down. The halfback runs for four yards. Gain of four on the play. Second and six. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Aggies line up with four wideouts. He drops back. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. And this one's going to get intercepted. And this could be a big return with the spin. And they make the stop. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Right. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. And straight ahead we go with a fullback. I like that. Give the ball to the big fella, and the big hoss makes his way into the end zone. When this guy starts rumbling, you better get out of his way, or he's going to leave cleat marks on your chest. Break. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over six minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score is Texas A&M 35, Utah 14. like they're ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick. 
Number seven fields it at the 11. He broke his ankles. At the 30. At the 40. Down the sideline. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? Well, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know better than that. <laughs> first and 10. Excellent field position to start the drive. Single set backfield. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. He's got an opening. Complete. A pickup of four on the play. Gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 46. The Aggies come out in a two tight end set. Back to pass. Walks this one out to the left, and it's caught. Tries to juke, and he's stopped behind the line. They're going to end up losing yards on the screen pass. That was man coverage at its best. They got off the blocks, stayed with their man. Great defense. Third and eight. Ball right around midfield. The Utes line up in a nickelback. Drops back to pass. Looking, throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. The pass falls incomplete. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 48-yard line. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 11, back to return. Number 30, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 25, calls for the fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 18. Utah lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, steps up, looks, short toss. Got some open field. Complete. They'll bring him down, and they pick up nine there. Second and one. Ball on the 27. The Utes set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. It falls incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here, the quarterback just overshot his target. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 27-yard line. Utah will line up in a jumbo set here. Brought down. So they pick up the first down on that run. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Texas A&M comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Wants to throw outside, and he's taken down about eight yards there. Second it's second down and two to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Aggies bring in the nickel package. Throws it to the outside, and it's caught, and down he goes. How do you like that pass, Lee? I don't know about the pass, but the result, a first down, ha, that's what I like. First and 10, ball on the 45. The Utes come out in a shotgun. They hit him in the backfield, and they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 42. The Utes set up in the gun. 
Drops back to pass. He steps up across the middle, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number 20, the lone back. He drops back. He tosses it short, and it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Fourth and 13. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 19, set to punt. Number 19, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 7, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 32. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Number 1, lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. It's dropped. The wideout unable to catch that Number pass. Five, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He's got a lot of green. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. After that touchdown, I don't think there's any secret who the go-to guy is in this offense. No question, Brad. It's really not fair to ask somebody to cover him stride for stride on any route. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Texas a and is lined up for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Return. Number 22 fields it at the 7. <laughs> so the offense takes over. Yards. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll, they'll go to work at the 23-yard line. line. First and 10. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. Off his hands and incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23. Texas A&M brings in the nickel here. On the ground with the tailback. Tackle. They gained five yards there. Five-yard gain on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 11 is back in the gun. Setting up the play action. And he throws it away. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. Fourth and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Didn't get all of that one. Back to return. Number seven takes it at the 45. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. First and ten. The Aggies go with the I formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. They get about five yards from the halfback. Five yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Drop back a yard. One yard loss on the play. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 50. Nickel defense. Another run. Breaks one. Brought down. And he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 43. yard line. The Aggie line up with two tight ends on the ground with the tailback. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 41. The Aggies come out in the ace formation, over the middle, and it falls incomplete. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Texas A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Option to the right, and he's going to lose yards on this one. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Yeah, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 25 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 13-yard line. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll take over at the 13. The Utes set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throw short, and it's caught, and he's taken down. That'll be a gain of five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 18. Utah comes out in the shotgun. Across the middle, intercepted. What is going on here, guys? They've just been outplayed and outcoached out there today. Anything and everything has gone wrong today, Kirk. There's not much else you can do except pack it up and try again next week. They'll get the ball here at the 39. Number 25 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Handoff up the middle. And down he goes. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Gain of two on the play. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Texas A&M, 42, Utah, 14. Second, Second and eight coming up here. Ball on, Ball on the, the 37, yard single yard. set backfield. Inside handoff, Jufu. And they make the stop. And Number remember one thing that this coach here. said. Nine they will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Texas A&M comes to the line with three wide. He spins around, and he's tackled. Two-yard pickup. On the run. Gain of two on the play.
It's second down and eight. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Aggies come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws. Complete. And down he goes. A pickup of four on the play. Gain of four on the play. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Utes line up in a nickel back. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Number 13 lines up for the field goal. It's up. And he missed it to the right. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. First and 10. The Aggies bring in the nickel package. Brought down. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 25. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five wide set. And they make the stop. They get three yards on the play. Three yard gain on the play. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 28. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll bring him down. Gain of two. With the carry. Gain of two on the play. Fourth and two. Ball on the 30-yard line. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 19. Punted and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number seven fields it at the 48. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 48-yard line. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. And they got him for a loss. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. They line up in a double tight set. They keep it on the ground for the tailback. Brought down. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. Third and six. Ball on the 48-yard line. Third and six. Ball on the 48-yard line. Number 15, back in the gun. Steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. And it's caught. And down he goes. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Aggies come out in the ace formation. Little handoff. He jukes. And he's taken down. That's a seven-yard gain. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Here they come. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. 
Texas A&M will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll try to get the first on the ground. Shakes off a tackle. Touchdown, Aggies. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Texas A&M ready to kick this one off. Number 25 and number 22 deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 22 has it at the five. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. First and ten. Ball on the 19. First and ten. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. They get a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second it's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 20. Utah comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside, and he drops it. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. The intended receiver on the play. Third and nine. Ball on their own 20. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Back to pass. Looking across the middle. Got it to his receiver. Tackle. That's now 300 passing yards for this quarterback, coach. This guy's having a huge game. Solid. And I'll tell you why. This offensive line has given him plenty of time to throw the ball back there. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Utes set up in the gun. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. In and out of his hand. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Second and 10. Ball on the 32. Texas A&M has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Texas A&M puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Across the middle, it's tipped. And the safety got a hand on it that time. The intended receiver on the play. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Number seven fields it at the 42. And there's a fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. Take over at the 43 yard line. 
Going with the shotgun here. He just brought down at the 45-yard line. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 45. Utah lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Throws. And he can't hang on to it. The tailback dropped that ball. Yeah, his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 45. Number 15 comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. He's under some heat. Somehow gets the ball away, and he's taken down. And that pass and catch gives him a first down. Yep, they got the first down, but it wasn't by much, you guys. First and 10. Ball on the 46. 46 yard line. Single set backfield. handoff he's gobbled up in the backfield didn't get anything no gain on the play so it's second and ten ball on the 46 yard line Utah lines up with five defensive backs and they make the stop the halfback picks up a yard one yard gain on the play The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Utes line up in a nickelback. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. Someone got a hand on it. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. They send out the punting unit. Number 30 gets it off. Number 25 signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Three wideouts here. They keep him on the ground with a tailback. And they Number hit him in the backfield. The Nothing tackle. going on that one. No gain on the play. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball, Ball on their own 20. Pullback on the inside give. They'll drop him for a loss. So the defensive the lineman stop. comes up with no a big stop. On the play. Third, Third down and 10 ten. coming up. Ball, Ball on, on the, the 20. 20 yard line. Number 11 lines up with five wide out. Drops back to pass. Looking, he's under pressure, rolls to the right, couldn't haul it in. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Didn't get all of that one. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Aggies line up with three wide. On the ground with the tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. So he's tackled for a loss by the linebacker.
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46. The Aggies come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Across the middle. And it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 15 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. He's going right. Got it. They'll bring him down. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. They line up in a double tight set. The counter. Tackle. That misdirection play gets maybe a yard at the most. Second and nine. This is the fifth play of this drive. Single set backfield. Another run. Spinning. There's a stiff arm, and he's tackled. And he busts a big one on this defense. With this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of two. About 12 yards out. Number 15 is back in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Couldn't get anything out of that. Number seven, the ball carrier. No gain on the play. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The Aggies come out in the shotgun. He's going left. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Well, at this point, these guys are just out there padding stats and running up the score. Sometimes you play in a game and you can't do anything wrong. You find yourself in a rhythm or a zone. This whole team seems like they've been in a rhythm since we kicked this game off. tax on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The Utes line up with five receivers. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Second 
Second and 10. Ball on the 15. The Utes come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. Pressure coming. And they got him. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. situation here on third and long ball on the eight yard line the Aggies bring in their dive package drops back to pass steps up in the pocket looks he throws it and got him at the 40 at the 30 to the 20 got some open field he's all the way home touchdown this guy can really run away from a defense coach listen up this kid is a big time game breaker he has that kind of speed And he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. up for the onside kick here here goes nothing Texas recovers the onside kick. excellent field position to start the drive the Aggies come out showing three wide on the ground with the tailback. And they got him for a loss. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 48. They line up in the shotgun. He breaks free. Tackle. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Texas A&M comes out with an eye formation. They hand off on the counter. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Brought down. The Number tailback seven, picks up a solid carry. seven yards seven on the yard counter play. On the play. Right. It's second down and three to go. Ball, Ball on the 28. The Aggies come out in a shotgun. Again with the run. They'll bring him down, and not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Have a look at our Old Spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. The Aggies come to the line with their jumbo package. And 
they make the stop. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Going with the shotgun here. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Texas A&M played an excellent game out there, dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. And That's we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football Texas 2005. Our final tally in this game, Texas A&M 56, Utah 21. <laughs>